Wow, look at that. Look at that change in color. Hello, happy Monday. No, no, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Oh my gosh, happy Tuesday. It is 7.40 a.m. and I just wanted to check my reaction and check to see if there is any dry ice today. Nice, okay, good, good. We have dry ice. Because usually after weekends, there's not like dry ice. So I'm glad there's dry ice. So this morning, I have to TA from 8 to 10-ish. And then I have group meeting, so lab group meeting at 10 a.m. So I'm hoping after group meeting, I can go and work up that reaction and try to column it and stuff and start a new reaction. And oh my god, I don't want to show out of breath I get from just walking up here. I'm gonna try something different this week because I noticed that my motivation level and energy level has just been really, really like decreasing because of animal work, I think. My hypothesis is that the reason that I'm less motivated to do other work is because I start my day off doing animal studies. As I've said before, like animal work really takes a lot out of me. I want to push animal work to the end of the day so I can try to get other stuff done before in the morning and like early afternoon. That way I'm still moving forward with my other project instead of just doing animal work for like an hour or two and then like feeling unmotivated to do anything else. It's a fresh week, it's a fresh month. Spring is here, my favorite season, and I just want to start off this month super strong. I don't want it to be a slump and I don't want to mope around just because I have to do animal work. We'll see how it goes. We'll just change things up a little bit because I was starting to feel like I was in like a minor slump. And honestly, I think I did go through the different stages of grief when I found out that I had to repeat all of this again with more mice. There was a denial, then anger, bargaining, then depression, and then acceptance. At first I was in denial, I was like, no, like I'm pretty sure this data is fine. I'm pretty sure this data is fine. And then I was like really angry because I had to repeat it and then depressed. Yeah, because like super sad. And then this weekend I definitely went through the bargaining phase where I was like emailing the boss to ask if there were any little things we can take out or like trying to like reduce the number of mice or whatever and there are like he he did give me like a few options to consider but honestly like after thinking about it and like resting over the long weekend like it's for my own benefit like to make my data stronger to just repeat everything again with like a higher number of mice this is how science is and it's just if this were any other experiment i would totally be like more accepting of it i probably would like still be a little bit like kind of lazy to repeat it but like I think more so I'm like more reactive about this because this is animal work and I just really don't like animal work but I just have to suck it up I just have to suck it up so I'm finally at acceptance and today I will be ordering the mice to repeat the study while the whole process is starting up again because like last time it took quite a while to like even start it I am determined to make good progress on my other project I don't want to push back the progress of my other project just because I'm doing animal work. Anyways, I should get checking in to this TA session. Yeah, I have to TA a lot this next couple of weeks because it's like final week. Gonna be fun. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check in with you later. Hello, the TA session finished an hour earlier than I anticipated, but during <gasps> Literally right as the freaking quiz was starting, I got a call from the animal facility that a few of them have to be euthanized like it, as soon as possible. So I have to go down and do that. Oh my gosh. There goes my plan to do animal studies at the end of the day. Oh, uh, it's not good. It's not good to get a call from them. Anyways, I'm gonna go down right now and do that and hopefully be back in time for the lab meeting. Ah, uh, you make a plan and God laughs. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Hello, it is now almost two and I'm finally back up here. So I had to euthanize so many mice because they had reached endpoint. Now I'm going to go 
do that reaction. I'm, I'm pretty hesitant to start this thing like so late in the day because it's a new compound, but I'm determined. I'm determined to try it today. First, I'm going to evaporate all the solvent and then prepare for the column. Oh no, this doesn't look good. I tried to dissolve it in DCM. You see this lumpy thingy? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just separated it from each other, so I think this is my compound. Let me check TLC now. So this is what the TLC is looking like. I think this is my product. I have a feeling these they're gonna come out at the same time. This is the remaining starting material, so it's like less, that's good. Now I'm evaporating the DCM from this. And I'm gonna make a slurry with the silica gel. And then here we go. We're good. This is the tiny amount of compound. This is not good. This is so little. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm just being silly or if there's like a really specific way to use this. But we ordered these like new columns and I thought that you could remove the cap. So then you can load your sample at the top of the column. Like that's how I usually do it. But I can't open it and like uh, I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be open because if you can open it, you should open it, right? So I was like trying to Google it and like how to use it and stuff. So I had trouble in the past with like these columns because um, it seems like the silica was like coming down along with my sample because it's like old and I take it from the trash anyways so but what I did was I put my compound in a slurry in this thingy and I'm now I'm gonna attach it to the new column and I'm just gonna hope that that works I have no idea I'm gonna let it equilibrate like halfway and then I'm gonna add this one <laughs> There's anyone that knows how to use this particular column with a dry loaded sample, please let me know because this looks so weird. Like this is my dry slurry here and then I put cotton here so it won't lie up. Here we go. Here we go. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Wow, if I'm correct and this is my product, then the reaction was super good. But if I was wrong and this is my product, then I'm so screwed. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I'm gonna go check the TLC now. Here is the compound. There's about 100 milligrams here. So I'm going to take a little bit and run NMR because our UPLC is still down. It is 4.58 p.m. and I will see my results in a few minutes. This time, I stayed with my column until all the fractions came out and I'm confident there's nothing else in the column. So this should be the compound. We'll see you in a few minutes. One more minute. One more minute. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I think I got it. I think I got it. Nice. All the peaks look like they're here. I'm gonna clean it up and I'll show you in a bit. These were my two starting material that I synthesized previously and this is the new compound. This was the signature peak of the drug that should disappear if the reaction is successful and it did. And these here are here, so they're incorporated. And if we zoom out, then we have all the peaks of this was the drug. So I think I think it, I think it worked. Yeah, I think I got the right fraction this time. Yay! Great way to end the day. I'm so tired. Like I was super tired after working with the mice this morning. I really didn't want to do any of this, but I pushed myself to do it. So I'm super proud of myself. Today is considered a win. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because I think it's quite a long one already. Thank you so much for continuing to watch my PhD journey. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.